what's up Alabama fans producer Chris here to talk to you about this Alabama versus Texas game Texas takes it 34 to 24 man where do we start where do we start man Jalen Milrow pretty inconsistent tonight um did not think he played terrible I mean he threw for way more yards than I thought he was going to 14 for 27 255 yards, two touchdowns, and a nice touchdown, too, at that. Um, but two just absolutely awful interceptions. You know, one first drive of the game, second one late in the game when we're trying to make a comeback. It's just not going to play. It's just not going to play. So I want to know from you guys in the comment section right now, personally, I thought going into halftime, Tyler Buckner was going to come out and start the second half for Alabama. That's what I thought was going to happen. I mean, Jalen Milrow was super inconsistent. This offensive line was super inconsistent tonight. So I want you guys to let me know. I've been a Jalen stan since last year. But when you're playing a team like Texas, and you're playing as mediocre as possible, as possible, there you got to make a switch. You got to make a switch coming out of halftime right there for at least a drive or two. Give Tyler Buckner a chance. You know, we saw a few years ago, I think it was 2015, 2016, something like that. Uh, 2015, I think, versus Ole Miss. Uh, Coker comes in against Ole Miss. Alabama still loses the game, but Coker played well. Um, and won the team over, and obviously they ended up winning the national championship that year behind Jake Coker. I would have loved to have seen something from Tyler Buckner in the second half at least, giving him a shot. Um, so let me know what you guys think in the comments section right now. Um, type JM for Jalen Milrow or TB for Tyler Buckner. Who should have started in the second half of this ball game tonight? Um, you know, Jalen Milrow didn't play terrible, but he didn't play very good either. Definitely didn't play as good as Quinn Ewers. Quinn Ewers, 24 for 38, 349 yards, brings me right into how just absolutely terrible the secondary was tonight. They had moments where, you know, they – it's it's weird. It's it, The secondary is really, really weird to me so far, especially in this game. They played hard. They played hard. I don't question anybody's effort in this game. But the miscommunication, man, I thought the communication in this secondary was going to be a whole lot better than it has been in game one and game two tonight. You know, they weren't super together last week either. Um, and there was a lot of me personally last week. I gave everybody the benefit of the doubt. You know, it's the first game of the season. Everybody's kind of getting that competitive edge back. Um, but tonight, just n nobody really had any idea what was going on. You know, guys were passing passing receivers off to the next guy, and there was nobody there. I just, man, it, it's super disappointing because the secondary is a, a unit that I thought was going to be a whole lot better than they have been so far. Um, they make some good hit, like some big hits on guys, and that's super exciting to see. But just overall, the communication is not to the level that I thought it was going to be for the DBs. You know, just super inconsistent all night long. Like I said, sometimes they would make a big play, and then other times, it's just guys wide open running down the field. Um, you know, Caleb Downs got beat. For a long touchdown in the first half. You know, he's a true freshman. He's going to get beat a couple times. Um, and that's in the first half. So you still feel like, okay, that's fine. That's fine. We'll work our way back in. But, I mean, we just did not play very, very well overall. Really in any unit, um, you know, all together. Uh, the offensive line, pretty bad. Pretty bad. I did not like what I saw. Like, I, I I gave last week kind of a benefit of the doubt. There were a couple times where a little, bit, a little bit of miscommunication from the offensive line on who to block. You know, I try to I try in that first week, give it that first week jitters excuse. 
I try to give them that. But tonight it was bad, man. Caden Proctor did not play good at all. Gave up two sacks, I believe. Um, you know, he's a true freshman. But if you're starting at the University of Alabama, it doesn't matter if you're a true freshman or not. You're expected to perform. You're expected to perform. And that's not something he did tonight. Um, really, the, the whole offensive line as a whole. Seth McLaughlin, terrible. Man, you had a couple bad snaps last week. You'd think... You know, he'd come into this week and really, really have that on his mind, really focus on that. Nah, man, just bad snap, one after the other, after the other, after the other. Shit, Jalen Milrose picking every single ball up off the ground before he can, you know, read the defense. I mean, that's not something that can be looked over. That's that's bad. That's bad. Darian Dalcourt didn't play well. Um, J.C. Latham didn't play well. I'm going to be very, very curious to see what the pro football focus grades were for Alabama's offensive line in this game. Because last week they were extremely mediocre. I'm not going to say they're bad, but they're extremely mediocre. I got a feeling this week they're going to be pretty bad. I just, watching that game live, there was nothing. There was nothing, especially in the second half, that screamed to me, oh, this offensive line is super dominant, like we've been, you know, like everybody's been preaching in this offseason. All the offensive linemen have been preaching how they're just going to, you know, run down everybody's throats. And in the first half, we kind of saw, you know, they were breaking off some nice runs. Jace McClellan was breaking off some nice runs in the first half. And he ends up you know, at the end of the game with 45 yards on 12 carries. I just don't understand how that happened. In the first half, he was, you know, it seemed like we were opening up some holes. And then in the second half, it just, everything turned to shit. Just turned to shit, man. I I really don't know how else to put it, to be honest with you. Um, And if I'm grading the offensive line tonight, I'm, I'm giving them a solid D. A solid D. Because... They told that everybody's been hyping them up. Everybody's been hyping them up that this is going to be the best Alabama offensive line that we've seen in a couple years. Well, so far, they they have not. They absolutely shit in the bed. I don't know how else to say it. They ha- they did not play good tonight. Really didn't play good last week either. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think right now. I want you to grade the offensive line for me. A, B, C, D, or F. Like I said, I'm going to give them a D because I expected a whole lot more. A whole lot more from this offensive line. And frankly, from the team as a whole. But the offensive line just really, really disappointed me. Um, You know, Quinn Ewers throws for 349 yards. I expected Quinn Ewers to probably throw for like 270 or something like that. He's going to get his all day. All day. I figured Quinn Ewers was going to get his. And the defense in the first half stepped up a couple of times, forced a couple of field goals, really big field goals. Um, And they they caused a couple fumbles in the first half too. They just weren't able to fall on them. And that's kind of a bad luck. You know, it is what it is. But Texas came in tonight and just straight up beat Alabama. I don't know how else to say it. Um, Just a super, super disappointing game overall. You know, the penalties, two touchdowns were overturned tonight. It it just can't happen. Just can't happen. I don't know how else to say it. Um, I don't know who disappointed me more tonight, the the offense or the defense. Um, because I honestly thought both of them were better than that. Thought thought they were both better than that. But it's going to be very interesting to see what happens in the future. Um, so you know, I I don't know where Alabama goes from here. There's there's obviously still a quarterback competition, and Jalen Milrow did not wrap it up tonight. I, I personally, in my opinion, I'll say that I have been a Jalen Milrose stan and I have been on his hype train even early in the game, man. Early in the game, I was on his hype train, even though they weren't doing very well. 
Um, I still had faith in him, but when it when it got to that when it got to halftime, I was like, man, you know, we need to make a change. I think we we need to be able to push the ball because Jalen Milrow didn't push the ball at all. We had one big play, nice, cool, whatever. Um, there were a lot of times where he got too excited. He see he saw that guys were open. He saw that in his progression that guys were open. And he just straight up got overexcited and missed him, whether that's that footwork that they were talking about last week, um, just not being able to focus on that, to be able to, you know, put the ball on the money. You know, I don't know. That's something they got to look at on film. But personally, I thought Tyler Buckner should have gotten a shot, at least in the second half. Um, I just – I. I really don't know where we go from here. Um, so I want you guys right now, the last question I'm going to ask you, who is the biggest disappointment tonight? Uh, was it the offense or was it the defense? That's a tough one. <laughs> That's a tough one, to be honest with you. Um, if it's me, I'm going to say the defense was more disappointing than what I thought they were going to be. They gave up a lot of yards, man. They gave up a lot of yards. 454 yards total, 349 passing. Now, the defensive line didn't play terrible. That's probably one of the better units when it came to stopping the run, but no pass rush whatsoever tonight. Zero pass rush from the defensive line. Um, you know, Dallas Turner virtually, I mean, did he even play? Did he even play? I, You know, watching the game, yeah, obviously he did. Obviously he did. I'm not stupid. Um, but it didn't seem like it. Uh, Quadarius Robinson, where was he? Didn't see him all night. Um, just a poor performance all around from Alabama. Texas straight up beat them. There really was no funky stuff going on. You know, like the Tennessee g game last year, there are plenty of excuses. You know, you can blame it on the refs all you want. Uh, tonight, there's no blaming it on anybody but – Alabama and the guys on the field and they just straight up got out coach tonight. I don't know how else to say it. Um, you know, like I told you last week, I love Alabama, love the Crimson Tide. I hate when this kind of stuff happens. Um, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Texas isn't in the SEC. Uh, it's not gonna affect how the SEC plays out. Um, you know, as long as Alabama can adjust from this and they win out, they win the SEC, they make it in the college football playoffs. Um, so it's not over, obviously. Uh, we've seen it before. Alabama's lost second, third game in the season, and they go to win the national championship. But right now, it's not looking good. It, that was not promising at all against a Texas team that, man, I hope they're good. I hope they're good. I don't, I, you know, Texas has been known to come out strong early in the season and then just kind of turn into crap the last, the last few games. That happened to them last year, made that win against them not look as good as it felt in week two. Um, so, you know, I really hope, I really hope Texas really ends up to be good and I hope they win their conference and I hope we get a chance to beat them in the college football playoffs at the end of the season because this leaves just a terrible taste in my mouth. We played like absolute crap tonight and, you know, I don't know how else to say it, to be honest with you. So, you know, I'm going to leave you guys with this. Make sure you subscribe to at Roll Tide TV here at Chat Sports. I'm going to be giving you guys post-game breakdowns, my opinions, my thoughts on, on the games all season long. So make sure you guys hit that subscription button. It's free. It's free, man. And I tell you what, I'll give you my honest opinion every single time. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. We play like absolute crap tonight. Um, and if you agree with that, hit that subscribe button right now. Roll Tide, guys. We'll get them next time.